During this entire pandemic, most grocery store workers never got the option to work from home. They showed up rain, snow or shine. So you have food to put on the table. But today, thousands of King Supers employees are saying enough. Glad you're with us tonight at 5 o'clock. I'm Shannon Ogden. And I'm Jessica Porter. Now, more than 8,400 King Supers workers are now on strike at more than 70 stores along the Front Range. Now, King Supers' last offer included $170 million in new wages and bonuses. Number 7's Russell Haythorn begins our in-depth coverage live in Wheat Ridge. Russell, this strike could last days, if not weeks. Yeah, Jessica, the last King Super strike back in 1996 lasted 42 days. So who knows when this thing will come to an end. Negotiations between these union workers and King Supers broke down last Friday. I just got off the phone with King Supers a few minutes ago. They said at the moment, no one is sitting at the negotiating table. So no end in sight. On the picket lines throughout Metro Denver, frontline grocery store workers sharing their frustrations. I live in poverty because I can't afford my rent, my phone, my food. Gino Uliberry has been working with King Supers for two and a half years now. Two and a half years almost, and I make twelve thirty-two an hour. And I'm in the snow, the rain, the wind, the hail. <laughs> Jamie Blair is making just over $18 an hour in the meat department. It took me almost 12 years to get there, and it's going to take me another two years to get to $19 an hour wow. because I only get 30 cents a year. This strike comes after a complete collapse of negotiations between the United Food and Commercial Workers Union and King Supers. King Supers says its last, best, and final offer included 16 an hour for a starting wage, increasing hourly wages this year between 150 and 450 for some employees, and offering a one-time bonus of either $2,000 or $4,000, depending on the employee's years of service. Bakery manager Tammy Olette calls the contract smoke and mirrors. I think they're being generous with a bonus and hourly pay, but I think that's the carrot hiding what's lost in the rest of the contract where we're not really going to make that much when we're paying more for our health care, we're losing our sick benefits. Equitable pay and benefits have been sticking points for years with the union, an issue coming to a head during the pandemic when staffing shortages forced workers to put in even longer hours, risking their own lives to keep stores open. We're shorthanded up front, lines are long. A lot of these people have families and aren't being paid correctly. Through the thick and thin, when there was the unsure of how contagious it was, what we could even do to protect ourselves. The cost of living in Colorado is extraordinary. I have to have like two roommates just to afford my rent. Despite the strike, King Supers told me a few minutes ago that every store that's impacted by this is still open today. That's because the so-called strike breakers or scabs as they're sometimes unceremoniously referred to are working today. Those are temporary workers. King Supers did confirm that they're paying those temporary workers $18 an hour, which is more than some of the permanent workers were getting paid. But King Supers says that's because the temporary workers aren't getting any benefits. We'll keep you posted on all of this for now. We're live in Wheat Ridge, Russell Haythorn. Back to you guys. All right, Russell, thank you very much for this. And the union is paying those workers who were on strike. Full-time picketers will earn $160 a day. They have to picket 40 hours over five days. Part-time picketers will get about half that. Now, the maximum that picketers can earn is $800 a week. Union workers also will earn $100 a week for simply not crossing the picket line. Today we caught up with customers outside King Supers. One person did give our reporter and picketers an unwelcome gesture, but everyone else we spoke with supported the workers right to strike. In this day and age, everything is, is so expensive now. You know, they need a raise. <laughs> they really do. And uh, I think they deserve it. And as far as benefits, the more benefits, the better. Highly. Uh inefficient for these folks, for these people to be able to survive and rent a place. And. Now we did ask King Supers how this strike may impact shoppers. They said, quote, right now we don't anticipate that this investment would impact the price of groceries. However, we certainly can't predict the future. They added that King Supers is continually evaluating expenses. 
And we have an interactive map of the King Super stores that are unionized that could be impacted by this, and you can find it right now on the DenverChannel.com. You can also learn the latest about the strike on our free Denver 7 Plus app, available to download right now for your phone and streaming device.